So welcome, guys, to your first lesson with Microsoft Teams, your first lesson in digital information technology. Uh, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time because this one's an easy one. <clears throat> but let me go ahead and go over Microsoft Teams real quick. Teams is going to be where I assign all of your lessons. And what I did was I created one big group for everybody to participate in Teams, all right? And those of you, uh, if you're paying attention in the background, you can kind of see there's my tarantulas right there and my snake. All right. Uh, okay, enough of that. So go ahead and click on Digital Information Technology, and I'll kind of show you how this works. Um, your actual assignment, uh, right now it's saved as a draft, and when I'm done with this video and I attach it, you'll, you'll see it, uh, and you'll be able to uh, click on it. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. It's called Me, Me, Me. And when you open this thing up, you're going to see the learning goal the vocabulary uh, for the lesson, and this is what you're probably going to see on like your first quiz, uh, you know, if I if I give quizzes this year, I haven't really decided. Um, your objective is right here, students will manipulate slide layouts as well as insert placeholders uh, for multiple purposes, okay? And um, it's important that you get down your terminology with Microsoft Office uh, because the questions that you're going to see on the test, they're going to use this terminology. So just like in math class, that's why it's important uh, when you learn, you know, uh, what a vector is. Um, you know, they're going to use that terminology on the test, and if you can't recognize it, you're kind of missing out already. Uh, so what, I, what I want you guys to do, you guys will notice that you have Office 365 on your desktops, and that's great. When you guys open up Office 365, this is kind of what the version of PowerPoint looks like when you open it up from Office 365 and it's great and it saves automatically and everything you've got your file tab and your home tab and you've got you know all the tabs that you need but it works a little different for example <clears throat> the first thing I'm gonna want you to do in this assignment is just kinda add a bunch of slides until you have five slides right and you can do that uh, right here but when you do it in Office 365 it's actually gonna make you choose a slide layout which is fine you can also say like blank and say add slide you know but it's a lot easier in PowerPoint and because when I test you, I'm going to test you in the actual PowerPoint application and not the online version of PowerPoint. Most of our stuff is going to be handled in the real version of PowerPoint. So open up PowerPoint on your desktops in the actual application. If you don't know how to do that, call me over and start a blank presentation. All right. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start a blank presentation. Um, our directions, make sure you guys keep those handy and available because I'm going to go through this whole assignment with you guys, all right? So all you got to do is kind of pay attention and repeat what I do and then make sure you submit your file in Microsoft Teams. All right, so here's the real version of PowerPoint and I'm also working on a Mac. I'm an Apple person, as you guys know, uh, but the version um, from the Mac to the PC is pretty similar and you'll notice here um, what this is called over here is your slide navigation pane, all right? And as you add slides in your slide navigation pane, you can just kind of right click in there and add new slide. Um, you're gonna, uh, by default, you're gonna get what's called a title and content slide. And you know it's a title and content slide because when you click on the layout button, it's actually selected, all right? So if you're ever uh, wondering what kind of slide layout you're working on, click on the slide itself and then click on the layout button. And see, this is a title slide layout. This is what's called a title and content slide layout. And the big difference between the two are the content boxes, all right? A title box gives me enough room to type a title and a subtitle, and it's going to format my text in a certain way. And then a title and content box actually gives me enough room in my content box to insert pictures, files from my computer, movies uh, from YouTube and from my uh, online. Uh, from my computer. I can insert a table here, I can insert a chart, or I can insert what's called smart art, all right? And it's really, really important you guys know the difference between a title slide layout and a title and content layout, all right? But I'm just going to go ahead and hit new slide here a bunch until I have a total of five slides. And I can kind of worry about the slide layout later, all right? So let's go ahead and look at our directions. We've already done this. We've already added new slides until we had a total of five slides. Slide one, we're going to make it um, a title slide layout. It already is, all right? All we have to do is kind of fill in the information. And Mr. Turner, because I do refer to myself in the third person, uh, wants the name, the date, and the class period, all right? So what I'm going to do is go up to slide one, and I'm going to say, Mr. Turner, no, I'm going to say, let's see. 
We'll see. All right. Um, make sure you put your first and last name there so I know who you are. And then let's say I'm in period one. And let's say uh, today's date, I'm not sure what it is. Actually, it's August 13th. Okay. I'm going to put August 13th, 2019. All right. And we're good to go with slide one. It's ugly. We can fix that later. All right. And it's very plain, but we can fix that later. Slide two. Let's go ahead and look at that. It says it makes, uh, it wants us to make this a picture with caption slide layout. So let's do that first. So click on slide two. And then under the layout button, you're going to go here and you're going to say picture with caption. All right. And look at the difference between the slide layout. It actually gives me a content box, but I can't insert just everything into this content box. I can only insert a picture there. And what I want you guys to do is tell me about your summer. Write at least five sentences on what you did over the summer and make sure you watch your spelling and grammar. Also add a picture to reflect your summer. All right. So what you're going to do here is you're going to write me about five sentences here about your summer. Maybe call it my summer. I'm going to pause mine and do the same thing and I'll show you what I got. And then you guys can compare yours with mine so you can see if you're doing a good job or not. Um, but make sure you have a picture. That is a non-negotiable with PowerPoint. Okay, so just briefly, this is kind of how my summer went. Uh, and you'll notice why I used a, tur a turtle here. Uh, over the summer, I had a fabulous time working at Collier County Public Schools. My duties included going through every single person who took a certification exam last year and entered that certification into the state database. Super fun! I also saved a turtle that was hitting the road. Little did I know that it was a 40-pound softshell snapping turtle at the time I passed it on the road, or perhaps I would have thought better of the situation. Anyway, I lived, and so did the turtle, and I still have all my fingers. Uh, so that's the picture of the Florida uh, softshell snapping turtle. That's not the one I actually rescued. The one I rescued was a little bit more beat up than that, but he was fine. Uh, these little creatures, even though I do save turtles all the time, I've never saved one quite that big before. Um, and because I was in the middle of I-75, I threw it in my back seat. Not a good idea. And, uh, you know, I eventually found a pond uh, off, off of 75 to put him in. Um, but it was it was a minute. It was about five minutes where he was hissing at me and jumping at me from the back seat. And they are kind of mean. Be careful. You know, I always say you need to know uh, the animals in the state that you live in. Uh, so rescuing turtles is all great, but it can be very dangerous. These things can take off your finger in a heartbeat. Anyway, back to the actual lesson. All right. Uh, and it says slide three uh, should be a content with caption slide layout. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on slide three and let's go to layout and say... Uh, content with caption. All right, and here's our content with caption slide layout. Uh, oh, notice the difference. It kind of looks the same, right? It is almost the same, except this gives me a media uh, placeholder. Uh, this is called a media placeholder because uh, I can insert six different kinds of media, not just a picture in here. All right, and what does Mr. Turner want us to do? Tell me something about yourself that might help me be the best teacher I can for you. Uh, allergies, um, are you Jehovah's Witness? Um, you know, um, should I be careful about like uh, holidays and stuff like that with you and birthdays? Uh, these are things that I want to know just so everybody's comfortable in my classroom. Um, you know, this is a pretty much a judgment free zone, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so uh, go ahead and do that for me. I'll go ahead and fill mine out too, and uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about my anxiety disorder, and we'll kind of compare in just a minute. All right, so here's what I kind of have. And I'm not expecting you guys to, you know, write a, um, you know, a, a huge heartfelt kind of thing. Uh, and I didn't either. But anxiety has really gotten the better of me this past year. Although I am taking medication that helps, it's not always a sure thing. Sometimes I just need a minute of quiet so I can breathe and gather my thoughts. My dogs and my other animals are also very helpful during these times. I'm not perfect, and I do freak out, but I always strive to be the best person I can be every single day. And then there's my dog. Uh, I've had him for about 10 years now, and his name is Butters. I also have another one named Peanut. All right. Uh, so continuing on, let's see what we got to do here. I was Googling. Um, okay, so honestly, I can't spell. <laughs> I had to look up anxiety. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the rest of our directions. Slide layout can be student choice. Tell me what your top three tech areas would be. Woo, yay. Okay, so slide four. Um, let's go ahead and find a slide layout that's going to work for me because I just kind of want a list of some kind so I don't need a whole lot. I'm probably just going to go with this title and content. I'm probably just going to keep it title and content. I'm going to say top, 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 top three tech areas. And I'm just going to do a, uh, I'm either going to do a bulleted list here, which is what I kind of have going on right now. Um, or I'm going to do a numbered list. And let's say, you know, let's say my first one is dental. It's not, I wouldn't, I don't know. I, 
probably do multimedia if it were me and I were you, and I'd probably do, you know, uh, let's say nursing. Or maybe vet assisting, but either way, that's not all I have to do here. I actually have to write a few sentences here. Uh, uh, why would these be your tech areas? What is it about these tech areas that really draws you in? All right, and I'm going to go ahead and go on to slide number five because I don't want this video to be super long. Uh, create your own slide layout using Slide Master. Use rename the layout Contoso. Ooh. Uh, insert a content placeholder on the right and a text placeholder on the left. On this slide, tell me what your dream date. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, stop. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to slide number five. What I'm talking about when I say slide masters is this little thing under the view tab. All right, so click on the view tab up here. You have this little group of things called slide masters, handout masters, and notes masters. And go ahead and pop open your slide master. It's kind of cool. It's also a really good way, if you forget to close this out when you're done, it's a really good way to mess up your presentation. So open up slide masters, and you'll notice that now on the left-hand side in my slide navigation pane, I no longer have my PowerPoint presentation that I was working on. I don't see my turtle anywhere, you know, that almost killed me. What I have here are the available slide layouts in Microsoft Office. And what this does for you is it allows you to modify one slide, and then um, that, uh, by modifying that one slide, it's going to modify the entire presentation. All right, so let's start at the top. This big slide up here is your official slide master. Whatever you put into this slide is going to go into every slide in your presentation. If I were to say insert pictures and I found that picture of a turtle and I put it in here, uh, picture from file, let me go to desktop and find turtle. Uh, there it is. He's my turtle. And I close, don't do this, just stop whatever you're doing right now and just kind of watch what I'm doing. And I close out my slide masters. I now have that picture of the turtle on every single slide in my presentation which is cool, like if I want to put a logo on a slide or something like that, Slide Masters is a really good way to do that. Um, but it's not, a, it's not what I want to do for this particular project. Um, you'll also notice that the other slides down here are kind of smaller. These are not um, called Slide Masters. This is your title slide layout master, all right? Whatever you do to this will affect all the, all the title slide layouts in your presentation. All right, this is called your title and content layout master. Whatever you do to this slide will affect every slide in your presentation that is a title and content slide. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the um, uh, layout master and we're actually going to insert our own layout, which means it kind of gives us a blank canvas. I'm going to rename by right clicking on the actual slide over here and I'm going to call this thing Contoso. All right and I'm gonna say rename. It wants me to go ahead and add a picture placeholder. Let's look at this so I don't mess this up. A uh, content placeholder on the right and a text placeholder on the left. So I'm gonna go up here to placeholder and I'm gonna to go to uh, content placeholder here, right? On the uh, content placeholder on the right, text placeholder on the left, all right? So content on the right and a text placeholder on the left. All right, I'm going to go up careful. When you drop this, you're going to be in their shaped format. You don't want to be there. So just go back to Slide Masters over here. You have a new tab here that wasn't here before. It'll be gone once we close this out. Uh, you're going to go ahead and say Insert Placeholder. And we're going to go ahead and insert a text placeholder here on the left. Okay, doesn't matter if they're lined up right now. Uh, just go ahead and drop it. And then when we're all done, we've already renamed this thing. We're going to go to the Slide Master tab and we're going to close our slide master. What did we do, Mr. Turner? Oh my god. So click on slide 5. You'll notice this is a title and content slide layout. All right, I have a title box and I have a content box that allows me to put six different kinds of media. So what this allows me to do now, because I've created my own layout called Contoso and we renamed it Contoso, I can go to the layout tab here and now I'm going to see my layout that we just created called Contoso. I could have named it Britney Spears if I wanted. And then when I go to the layout tab, I'll have a new layout called Britney Spears. So the point here is that you can use the Slide Master to create layouts that don't already exist. All right. So if you needed a text placeholder on the left and a picture placeholder on the right and none of these were doing it for you, you could use your Slide Master to do that. Um, that's going to be the first question on your certification exam. No pressure. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and fill out what it wants me to fill out. On this slide, tell me what your dream vacation would be. Where would you go and why? All right, why is this place your dream vacation? Make sure this slide has a picture. All right, 
When you're all done with this too, feel free to go back and spruce this thing up. It's a very plain presentation, and although I'm not going over any kind of design tips or tricks with you today, you'll notice that under the design tab, you can go ahead and format your slides to have a particular color or a particular background style, all right? It is up to you guys, but um, I'm not gonna go ahead and play with this presentation as far as the backgrounds go. There's many more lessons to be had. I'm gonna make sure that this sounds really good. I have no spelling mistakes. Everything is in there. I have followed directions. And last but not least, I have saved this and turned it in to Mr. Turner in Microsoft Teams, all right? And that's it, guys. Uh, I know that was kind of a long video for a very short lesson, but that Slide Master stuff is important. All right, remember that. Bye, subscribe.